Hello, this is Goganus, and I am going to show you today, in Blender, how to make a simple third-person game. Now, this is going to be short, it's not going to be anything too complicated, so if you're looking for a video that just shows you the basics of making a third-person game, then this is what you will want to watch. So anyway, open Blender if you haven't already, and start by deleting your default cube. You won't need a cube yet. And then hit the space bar, go to add mesh plane. And now take the plane and press S for size and make it bigger about there. And then use a free um I don't know what it's called, but use a free um rotate the thing by holding alt and clicking and moving the mouse get a good view of the plane there and then click the space bar add mesh cube bring the cube up so it's by either pressing G or using these little arrows here and then size it down a little bit to about there now we're going to add some color to this game just to make it look good. Um, make Let's make the cube blue. I don't care what you do, but I'm just going to make it blue by using the shading icon there. Wait, no, that's green, not blue. And then I'm going to make the plane green. Okay, so we've got our basic um, like playing piece and stuff. So now, let's set the camera. Right click on the camera, move it to so it's right behind the cube by rotating it and grabbing it by pressing R to rotate and G to grab. You can go to view camera and Press G to grab and rotate to make sure the camera stays in the right spot that way, and to make sure that it's in a good spot. Okay, it's right behind there, but let's make it a little close, closer to the um, cube. And what I just did there was scroll down. You just um, scrolled out. You just use the scroll thing. Um, wheel to do that. So, um, let's view camera again. Move it down a little bit. Okay, camera's in a good position. Now, we're going to set all the motion for the cube. So go down to the logic here. Add, add, add. Make this a dynamic by clicking over here, dynamic. Make this keyboard, key, up arrow. Connect these. And you just have to do this trial and error. See, press these location things to see if they work right. Okay, so when I press the right arrow, the up arrow, it went right. So I need to keep doing these until I get to the right thing. Okay, that is not right. It jumped. Let's try this. Okay, so when I press the up arrow, it went up because I had 10 here in the location. Now, set all of your controls for keyboard and just have do trial and error until all of the um, keys make until when you press alt the keys they go in the right direction. I'm gonna pause this and just set that really quick and then I'll continue. Okay, so I've set all of the cubes in motion. I've set moving forward and backward and rotating left and right because we don't want it to just move left or right. So that would be sidestepping. We want it to turn left and then you press the up arrow to move in that direction. So for moving up and down, I put the, whatchamacallit, in the location, 
And then for that, for up, it's 10 in the middle. For down, it's negative 10 in the middle. Negative, they're positive and negative are just like different. They, oh, well, they're opposites. 10, positive is one direction and negative is another. For the rotation, you put 0 0.05 in the right, um, 1, 4, um, let's see, 4, left, and then negative 0 0.05 in the right, for in the right column for rotation, to rotate right. I also added another control, which is, I added for the space bar. You can add this if you want. And I put 10 in the right, lo far right location, and this makes it jump. See, if I press P to play, up, down, rotate left, rotate right, I can do that, and then jump. So I've got all that. Now, now we're going to set the camera to follow the cube. So, right click on the camera, make sure you're in logic, and make sure the camera is static. Don't make it a dynamic. Add, add, add. And keep this as always. Connect these. Bring this to camera. One thing I forgot. Right click on the cube really quick and click add property. Change the property to whatever you want, but I'm just gonna say player. Enter. Then re right click on the camera. Under oh wait, never mind. You didn't need to add the property. The OB, under OB, I thought you had to add a property, but actually you have to add the name of the cube, which is just capital C cube. Enter. And that means that the camera will follow the cube. Now, under min, hit 8, max, 8, height, let's just try 7. P to play. Okay, that's a little too high. Let's make the height 5. See, a lot of things you have to do with blenders is trial and error until it works. Anyway, P to play. Still a little too high. Let's try three. Three looks like it's a good height. So, now we have a third person game. A simple one, but it's third person. We've got our cube, which is the player, camera, and the plane, which it walks on. So, if you'll press P to play. You can move your cube around and the camera will follow it. When you turn, the camera will follow it wherever it goes at the height of 3. And then if you jump, the camera will follow it too. So, there you have it. Your simple third-person game. So, that's it. I'll make more Blender tutorials eventually. But hopefully this tutorial helped you. Goodbye.